Hi guys, Chris here, and you are watching Here We Are Running. And you know what? I almost didn't make a video this week. I have been really lacking in motivation. I have to tell you this, because it's not always good. It's not always good for every runner. Um, and the last couple of weeks since I finished that October challenge, I have been lacking in motivation to get out there and to have a challenge, to aim for something. At the moment, I just haven't got anything to, to aim for. Um, but that is going to change. I have had a think about things. Uh, and stay watching towards the end of the video and you will find out what my next challenge is going to be. But the other thing that's been a problem in the last couple of weeks is the weather hasn't been great here in the UK. We're also in lockdown too now. So we're kind of limited on the sort of things that we can go and do. Um, the weather's been really awful this weekend, in fact. But on Sunday afternoon, the sun did come out. It did stop raining. And I thought, well, hang on a minute. Um, the Goku runner, check out his channel if you're not familiar with him. Uh, he he organises these virtual races. And this weekend, it's a virtual one mile race. Now, if you remember from a few weeks ago, I did a one mile time trial and I finished it in just over six minutes at the time I stopped my watch or just under six minutes if you go by the time on Strava when I actually reached the mile marker. I, I wanted to go and do that again. I wanted to run the fast mile again and uh, that's what I've done. Sunday afternoon I went out to the fastest flattest piece of road that I could find and I went and did a one mile time trial. Okay so here we go. Let's press the watch and we are off. And the, the, the area that I've chosen to do this one mile time trial is a stretch of straight road along the side of Earlswood Lakes, near to where I live. Uh, it's very flat and it's a very straight route, as you'll see. Uh, but because the sun had come out and it was the only sunny part of the weekend, you will notice there's quite a lot of people either walking or cycling along this stretch. And Earlswood Lake itself was so busy, I couldn't even park in there to go and find somewhere else to park. So here we go. We set off at a, a reasonable pace there. Uh, you can see the pace on the side, 3.55 per kilometre at this stage. And um, just getting the heartbeat up there as well. Now, actually, this bit that's coming up here was a bit slower than I thought it was uh, when I was actually running it. I'm not sure if there was a slight bit of elevation at this point before we get to the lakes itself, but uh, yeah. This is, um, well, we're actually 3.45, that's not too bad. I think it does slow down slightly in a moment though. As you can also see, a lot of the leaves have fallen off the tree. We're well into autumn now. With the rain and the, and the leaves, it was quite slippery out there. I was wearing my New Balance fuel cell prisms, which I tend to wear for all my uh, faster runs. And uh, they did well again, but uh, uh, they were a bit slippy, I would say. You can see now we've gone over four minutes per kilometre pace, 4.05 there, back down to four. Um, so this was, a, this was the slowest bit of the run actually, um, but we are now just passing another runner there. We are now approaching Earlswood Lakes uh, at around the half K mark. And then we're going to see things uh, speed up a little bit. And the other thing you notice now is uh, the leaves. They haven't fallen off of these trees here yet. And perhaps I was just getting a bit more grip here because we've gone down to 3.35 per kilometer. And as you can see over there on the left-hand side, that is the lakes. And we're coming up to the halfway stage now. Maintaining that pace. And you can see the heart rate, it's gone up to 150 beats per minute. I think it does go a little bit higher, but it doesn't go, you know, we're only running a mile here, so it doesn't go really high. All overtaken by a cyclist. Sped up to 3.30 per kilometre now. So really sort of pushing on at this stage now. We're over halfway. There is going to be uh, an interesting part of my route coming up in a little while, uh, which I, I actually did my warm up by running this whole route out. So I was very familiar with it when I actually did it for the, the time trial itself. So I did the warm up for a mile and then and ran back again for a mile. Uh, and I did notice this uh, 
unusual bit of the route that's going to be coming up in a moment there and then and I thought do I change the route and I thought no I'll just uh, I'll be okay you'll see what I mean in a minute so we're at 1k now and still going strong slow very slightly 340 per kilometer that's still really good I'm really happy with that we're about to overtake another runner Now, you might have seen in the distance there <laughs> a bit of spray in the road. Well, uh, yeah, it is a bit flooded up here, to say the least. Watch as this car goes past. I didn't see too much of it there. He, he kind of moved out of the way to avoid it. But um, it's coming up very soon. And I just decided I'm going to run straight through it. So it might slow me down very slightly, and it certainly made my feet wet. Here we go running through the water uh, but to be honest we are at 1.2 kilometers now we haven't got long to go and I don't think that's really going to matter now at this point in time I'm just concentrating keep pushing keep maintaining that pace we're at 335 per kilometer so that's a good pace to be maintaining and the heart rate is not increasing anymore it's it went up to about 150 152 it's back down at 149 at this stage I'm wearing my chest monitor, so I do have a good uh, degree of confidence that, that is accurate. Now, this is the end of the uh, pavement. I go round this road here uh, because this is flatter than sort of going on straight. So, luckily, no traffic turning. I didn't have to slow down or stop for traffic at that point. Now, we, we really are getting a bit close to the end now. Final couple of uh, hundred metres, and I'm probably glancing down at the watch there. Still at 3.35 per kilometre though, so we're not slowing at all, we're not holding on, we are just keeping, keeping that momentum going, keeping pushing the whole way through. Another glance at the watch, because I do want to stop it this time and I do want to stop it at the right time. And there we go. Well, there we go. My new mile PB of five minutes and 48 seconds. I am delighted with that. And not only a mile PB, also a one kilometer PB, a half mile PB, and a 400 meter PB, all in the same run. So again, delighted about the way that that went and really glad that I actually did get out the door and, and attempt that and achieve that today. Right, so let's move on now and talk about my next challenge. It, it has got me thinking, what am I gonna do for the next challenge? And I think there's enough time now between now and the end of the year to have another little training block and to aim for something. And the um, distance I am going to aim for is going to be 10K. So I'm gonna try another 10K and aim for a 10K PB. Uh, my current 10K PB was set about a year ago at 43 minutes and something. So I'm gonna go for sub 43 minutes for this attempt and see how we get on there. So we'll, we'll have a, a training series coming up for that um, from sort of next week onwards, I hope. Now, the other thing that's going to come up before then, and it's going to happen as soon as we get to 3,000 subscribers, which I think needs, at the time of making this video, another 34 subscribers. But the, the growth of the channel has slowed down in recent weeks, so it's taking a bit longer than I thought to get there. But as soon as we get to 3,000 subscribers, um, I set a challenge to Chris, that running guy. Again, if you're not familiar with him, go and check out his channel. He's producing some great content. And he he's growing really quickly on his channel. He's already got to 3,000 uh, a couple of weeks ago. I'm chasing him up. Um, and because of that, we are going to have a chaser race. Now, a chaser race is where um, we're going to be up against each other, racing against each other, the distance of 3K. And what we've done is we've put uh, various times into a race predictor. So I think we, we looked at our 5K PBs, put it into a race predictor and took the difference between what it says that uh, Chris should be able to run 3K at, along with myself running 3K. The difference between those two is the head start that I am going to go and get when we do our race. And then he is going to be trying to catch me 
um, over that distance. So if the race predictor's right, it should be a really close finish and a, and a good one to uh, to film and for you guys to watch. So that is coming up soon. Uh, quite how soon, I'm not sure, but uh, hopefully around the end of the month or so, we'll get to uh, to to race together and and to film that. Guys, that is it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video, as always. If you have, please do hit that thumbs up button to give the video a like. And if you're new around here, well, why not consider subscribing for regular running content? But for now, guys, goodbye.